Nick, what shifted in those last few minutes when the Clippers went on the run to close out the game? It's, oh, my bad, my bad. They started switching, and we couldn't get no points. And they just played with more energy than us in the fourth quarter, and things were flowing for them. How did that make it difficult for you guys to not get those points and get to that offensive rhythm that you guys had been playing with for the first three quarters? I think switching has been somewhat of a kryptonite for us. It's definitely hurt us um, this far in the season. Um, it just it forced us to kind of play slow and look for mismatches instead of keeping that, that flow we had going offensively. A lot of times that usually leads to, you know, like slowing it down, elephant hunting, people trying to get matchups. Is that kind of what you guys fell into today? And how do you avoid that? Because I'm sure they won't be the last team that will be switching or reading on you. Yeah, I think that's kind of what we um, – referred to trying to find a mismatch and going at the mismatch and when we, it's something that we work on a lot we just have to implement it during the game instead of um, looking for those switches and slowing down how we're playing. Is it even tougher because you guys played with pace for three quarters and that was working so well but just was it just kind of frustrating that you guys weren't able to kind of keep that up as they were switching a little bit? Yeah um, and I think it's not just the switching um, our energy our energy was kind of down during the fourth quarter as opposed to you know in the first half and even in the third, we we're playing at a at a higher level, just our spirit and everything. So that's something that um, we, we definitely need to um, keep keep our energy up, especially for 48 minutes. On Friday, you mentioned about how this team is trending in the right direction. When you look at overall at how the road trip started and now with this game, what's the, just the biggest takeaway about what needs to change and just kind of happen now as you guys head back home? Uh, we got a big home stand coming up, and like you said, things definitely trending in the right direction. Even if you know tonight we we play well for the majority of the game, but obviously we have to play play that that same way for 48 minutes, and that's our challenge. But um, just just continuing to build, continuing to be solid defensively. I think we've done a really good job of that, and um, yeah, just just, tr just keep going in the right direction. Understanding that they kind of lured you into slowing down, but I mean. 22 to nothing, it's about whatever, five minutes, five and a half minutes. How disappointing is it that even with timeouts and huddles, you guys couldn't quite find a way mentally to stem the tide there? It was 22 to nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's tough. Um, definitely frustrating, especially in the game that we played so well towards the beginning. Um, but, you know, it is what it is now. We got to watch the film, learn from it, and just – you know, do our do our best to not be in that position again, for sure. Jock was saying that obviously these are lessons for you guys, and obviously throughout the season you learn things. But at the second half point, is it somewhat concerning that these are still kind of lessons that you guys are still kind of have to figure out together as a group? Yeah, it's just all a part of the journey. It's not going to be perfect. Um, we've been, you know, taking some losses, but tonight is just another part of the journey. It's a tough L, of course. Everybody, we all, everybody in the whole organization, we hate losing. It's definitely going to leave a bad taste in our mouths, but. Um, like I said, we just got to learn from it as a team, as a unit, and be ready to go back home and get some wins. Yeah. If I can ask, um, you mentioned how switching kind of slowed you guys down. We see a lot of teams go into switch-heavy defensive styles at times, especially late in games. Why does that slow teams down? Like, why, why is that such a wrench for a lot of offenses across the league? I mean, it's something that we also haven't done as much this year, but we've started to do um, here recently. It just it, it makes you want to look for mismatches and play slow and seek out certain certain matchups instead of keeping that keeping a flow offensively and running sets it, teams want to play iso ball and it can it can definitely it can be used effectively